G'day guys, JC here. In today's tutorial lesson, we're going to learn how to play Don't Stop Believing by Journey. G'day guys, JC here. Let's learn Don't Stop Believing. Now before we get started, if you want to follow along with the lyrics and the chords, all you need to do is download the PDF from the link below and you can print out to your songbook or upload to your iPad. Okay guys, this is the, an awesome song. Um, the best news is there's only two parts in, uh, in the whole song. So quite easy to learn structure wise. Uh, but there are, I've got a version that um, you can play on the acoustic guitar uh, it may get a bit tricky, but I think you can handle it. Uh, so let's start with the main riff. Okay, let's do the main riff. Um, I'll go through it slowly to start out with. E. B. C sharp minor. A. E. B. G sharp, minor, then A, back to the E. So let's break that down. So we start with the E chord, and we just, on the E string, good. and we go to the B, on the A string, C sharp minor, G sharp minor A So that's it. Now you'll notice uh, when I'm saying B it's actually like a B like that and these two bottom strings are open. Same with the C sharp minor. I'm keeping that bottom one open. When we go to the A, it's like you're doing an A bar chord, but you're only fretting that note there. So you've got these two notes down here again open. So that's that part. Okay, now if I was to sing and play this song, I would do the main riff. Um, as we just did, uh, coming into the singing part, I'd probably mute it, something like this. Just a small town girl, living in a lonely world, took a midnight train go. Something like that. Okay, now let's do the second part. Um, it starts with an A sus2. Strangers waiting. Now you can go to E here. So e. A sus two. So essentially it's just A sus2 to E. The end bit we go to B as we did before. E B E A go. So that's the second part. 
So for the um, second part, with, when it gets to the E, I tend to do something a little bit different. So I go. Because it gives a bit more interest and follows what the guitar is doing in the original song. So that is just, um, it's like you played the B down there. It's a, an, e, uh, an E5. We just go. And that's it. Okay, guys, that's it. Two parts, and you've got that song down, Pat. Um, great song. That you need that leading riff that's why um, I like this version because you can play it with a capo but you really need that um, leading riff um, for people to know what the song is in the beginning such a great riff now if you got something out of this um, appreciate if you give me a like and if you want a lesson like this every week all you need to do is subscribe and I'll send you a lesson every week uh, thanks for stopping by I really appreciate it uh, and I'll see you next time yeah.